All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below for anybody who wants to support me. Only do so if you actually can. And apologies for any audio glitches. My mic is starting to fail after about eight years of use. So time for the monthly update on OPEC countries oil production levels. Last month they began initiating their further production cuts that they said they were going to, starting with Saudi Arabia dropping their production from around 10 and a half for 10.46 down to just under 10 coming in at 9.96 million barrels per day, whereas they've usually on average maintained a plateau of about 10 million barrels per day, a plateau which they would be able to maintain probably as of now out to about 2032 or so. Originally, the end of plateau expectation was more 2029. However, Saudi Arabia has managed to continually, gradually push their end of plateau date expectation off further into the future via over complying with production cuts like they have said they are going to do this time once again. As they were only supposed to cut down to about 10, however they are going to cut down all the way to 9 they have stated, and they should be down to that point by the end of July I would expect. Down in Africa, Angola peaked a while ago at about 2 million barrels per day and has been on their decline ever since then, down to around one, and they've been adding a few small fields offshore here and there, and that's kind of stalled their decline a little bit, keeping them around one for the moment, but it's not going to last forever. This time they're coming in at 1.11 million barrels per day. Algeria peaked a while ago at 1.4 and had declined all the way down to about one, and then after the prolonged COVID production cuts, they came back up to one and were actually able to go back up over one because of some enhanced recovery operations and the addition of some small new field extensions, enough to be able to get back up to 1.06. And they likely then would have resumed declining from that. However, then new production cuts were implemented, so they cut down to about one. And now, with these further production cuts, they have dialed themselves down a bit further, down to 962,000 barrels per day. Iraq being held back once again at the whims of Saudi Arabia, which is why I've started saying repeatedly, I heavily expect Iraq is going to leave OPEC sometime soon, as in, I would be surprised if they don't leave by the end of this decade, as they have been repeatedly almost getting up to five which they would be able to go well beyond, up to at least seven. However, they keep not being able to make it, because whenever they're close, that usually ends up coinciding with Saudi Arabia calling for production cuts, and Iraq is, you know, understandably starting to get tired of this. So there's a decent chance they might end up leaving OPEC. They had already cut their production back down from 4.7 down to 4.3, and now under these newly imposed production cuts, they have cut it down to about four, coming in at 3.96 million barrels per day. Iran, meanwhile, is increasing their production. They once maintained a plateau of about six million barrels per day. However, after the revolution, they were never able to fully restore that, only able to maintain about four. And then the sanctions came in in the later 2020s, and no one bought their oil anymore, so they had to drop their production down to just meeting their own domestic demand, which was once up at about 1.9, however has been gradually declining over the last decade or so down to about 1.7. So they were producing less than two for a while, however the sanctions have begun getting released, so they are able to actually sell and export the oil again, and so they have been increasing their production, now back up almost to 2.7 million, coming in at 2.68. Kuwait, normally maintainer of a 3 million barrel per day plateau, one that they could maintain up until 2050 or so. Under the prior production cuts, they were keeping themselves under 2.7 at 2.68. Now under these further production cuts, they've dropped down to 2.55 million barrels per day. The UAE also used to hold a 3 million barrel per day plateau. However, they decided to up it to a 4 million barrel per day plateau just before all the 2020 stuff happened as their own domestic oil consumption in present day is around 1 million, so they wanted to up their export ratio, even though that would 
decrease the time they could maintain a plateau for. And they only got to maintain that 4 million barrel per day plateau for like a month or two before the COVID production cuts happened. They were gradually increasing themselves back up to it and were up to about 3.2 until Saudi Arabia imposed new production cuts. So they cut down a bit to 3, around 3.04. And now with these further cuts, they have back down under three, down to 2.89 million barrels per day. Nigeria once held a 2 million barrel per day plateau, which they could still maintain if it were not for the fact that their oil and gas industry and infrastructure is in the same collapsing condition that South Africa's dilapidated power grid is in. So Nigeria's ability to actually produce the amount of oil it's capable of has been falling apart. And it's down to them only really being able to reach 1.3 if everything's working right. And they are constantly having drops under one, just now recovering from another one of those recently and coming back only to 1.18 million barrels per day. Libya continuing to hold around 1.2 million barrels per day. And Venezuela once held a 3 million barrel per day plateau, which, given the sheer size and scale of the Ornico belt, they could hold for this entire century if they were actually still holding it. However, they collapsed and imploded in the later 2010s, and when they went down, they took their oil production with them, obviously, all the way down to less than 400,000 barrels per day. And they've been on this off and on repeating pattern over the last three or four years of they will let some outside oil industry in, usually Chevron, and said outside oil industry will fix things up for them, restore some of their production back up to usually around 900,000 or 1 million barrels per day. Then Venezuela kicks the outside oil industry out, and without said oil industry there maintaining stuff, their oil production collapses right back down again, and Venezuela does a surprise Pikachu face. And so right now, they are on one of their allowing outside oil industry help phases, and that has gradually brought them back up from around 600,000 up to now 819,000 barrels per day. And that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave on Patreon down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. You can go subscribe to my Catch channel as well. And no matter what happens to me, may God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.